And there we go, guys. The Kingdom of Macedonia. And we now have cores on all of Bulgaria and Turkey. Pretty broken, right? Hey! I'm Feedback Gaming, and this is Hearts of Iron 4. Single player, new game, 1936, the Hellenic Republic. Greece seems to have gone through a few changes, like uh, having poor governance. Hmm. Having an isolationist policy. Hmm. And, oh dear. Let's have a closer look. Oh, it just gets worse. And it gets worse. Welcome, I'm Feedback Gaming. I play strategy games on YouTube. And I am from the United Kingdom. If you want to support me and help my channel grow, consider subscribing. If we get 150,000 subscribers, I will restore Britain to its proper former glory. You want to see that? Well then subscribe, boy and girl. A popular question is what nations in the next expansion will have focus trees? Will we get a rework on Italy? Will we get maybe Bulgaria? Will we get Turkey? Will we get maybe the Soviet Union? Or will we get bankruptcy? It was a trick question. We're getting bankruptcy. Today's video won't only be mid-maxi. Today's video won't only be exploitative. But today's video will do something that has never been done before in Hearts of Iron 4. And that is to bring back the glory of Alexander the Great Empire. The Kingdom of Macedonia. This is the part where you're Greek. You unsubscribe. No, don't, <laughs> don't unsubscribe. We need 150k. Come on, boys. And girl. First of all, let's go with military empowerment to get rid of some of those nasty national spirits. Straight up, we're going to grab all our divisions, move them onto the Bulgarian border, make a lovely front line, and exercise them to level 3. For such, we are going to go for machine tools, but also focus a little bit more on weaponry early on, with interwar artillery as well as support weapons. At the start of the game, we have a penalty of 75% for construction speed. That's pretty painful. So whatever you build, it don't really matter, because it's not going to be building very quickly anyway. So we'll just drop that and that. That'll do. We'll change the support equipment to artillery, and the rest will be hopped on to weapons. And regarding the naval dot yards, we'll just make convoys. The general we're going to go with is... Oh my goodness. No, 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 stop. No. I'm not going to be pronouncing any names in this video. Oh, apart from this guy, which we're going to call Legolas. Yes, Legolas with his plus four attack. Yes, that guy. And the field marshal will be Alex. Five speed... Let's go. Oh, we also have a navy. Just merge it up. Merge that baby up. And then we have two admirals with horrendous names. Uh, I'm going to select this guy because he's got a pipe. Empowerment is done. And now we're going to work on Rightful Heirs, which gains us the event of Macedonian Fate. Hmm. Yugoslavia yields. Yugoslavia decide to accept our proposal and give us back our rightful land for Greece and the future. We become the controller of the state of Macedonia. Okay, history time. This state, from a classical Greek perspective, was never considered Macedonia. This was considered Macedonia. Also facts, Macedonia and Macedonia are both correct pronunciations. Tell me how wrong I am in the comment section. P.S. I'm not wrong. Next focus, military propaganda. Juicy bonuses. We're all propagandaed out. Military counselor. Next researchers, dispersed industry. Superior firepower and electronic mechanical engineering. We want radio for the reinforced rate, we want soft attack from the superior firepower, and we want more industrial output from the dispersed industry, because our industry output right now is pretty horrific. Minus 75%. A treaty, you say? Gain annex war goal against Bulgaria? Here we go, and now we're ready. Without further ado, go, go, go. All right, so we're gonna glitch this. The AI tends to act kind of stupid, but in some instances, it does actually okay. But what we're going to do is move forward and make attack plans and try and outmaneuver the AI. The plan is to move into the gaps in the front line. We're going to tell them to go, go aggressive, and pin the divisions on the front line. And we're going to move forward and try and capture as much land as possible. If we can grab Sophia in the first wave, we're doing good. Made a nice little encirclement in the center. That's good to see. Locked in two divisions in the center. And by the looks of things, we can grab Sophia. Can we? No. Yes. No. There we go. That we pinned exactly where we wanted to be. And we're just going to wait now. Pin everything in position. And everything is looking very good. The secret to this war is not to defeat the Bulgarians in open combat. It is just to move forward into the gaps in the front line. And take all their key victory points. And there we go. Capture those victory points in the east. And this should capitulate them 97 percent and 100 done 
Right, converting all the divisions to the basic infantry and put them onto the front line of Turkey. Go, go, go. And we're also going to add on the artillery onto you. There we go. In the meantime, we're going to go for this. The two-year plan, industrial boosts. We need to go for damage control. We need to go for repaired industry. And eventually we'll go for Rise of the Phoenix. This gets rid of this awful national spirit, which the Greeks like to refer to as patriotism. We're going to train a few more divisions and we're going to prioritize their equipment and we're going to deploy them to the front line as quickly as we can. We need to up our overall army size to 150,000. We're pretty close, so it should be about three or four divisions. Next up, damage control. And also deploy those few divisions to up our overall troop count. We need another four divisions. Next up, we're going to go for construction one. Keep deploying divisions. Another two divisions, then we'll be at 150k. Next up, we're going to go for founder HDS. Just our factories a little bit. Perfect. And deploy the last one. Done. And now we can go for this focus. The final moment of peace. War goal against Turkey and set compliance for all the Bulgaria to 50%. Don't mind if I do. All right, put everyone on the front line. You can stop training divisions. Right, disperse industry three, get the boost. And now we can hop on to construction two, as well as hop on to machine tools two. Oh, and the Turks have now become red. Ottoman Empire? Nah, I've never heard of it. Right, final moments of peace. Stop exercising, give it a few days. We're going to progress down here and get our civvies and hopefully repair the industry. And at the very same time, we are going to declare war on Turkey. We might have an opportunity just to push into here really quickly and potentially make an encirclement. Hopefully. Can we? Can we? Can it be done? And it can be done. Yes. Now we're in a lovely opportunity to make a juicy encirclement on the Turks. You're probably thinking, hang on a minute. How did you defeat them and push them out of the way so quickly? You right click on them and look at their national spirits. We have unorganized military. Yeah, yeah. They're right for the picking, right? Nice and easy. All right, now we're going to select the whole army, cancel their orders, make a fallback line the mountains behind the river, as well as the forest. Get back. Get back. And I'll wait for them to come forward again. And rinse and repeat. Go for the infrastructure update. Make a front line once again. Put them on the front line to build some planning bonus. Go for a staff office plan. Get some juicy attack bonus. Wait a few days and let's try that again. See if we can make another encirclement on the state of Constantinople. Looking pretty difficult to break through here, but looks like we can just get through. Our next focus is joint research projects for the research slot. Stop them from reinforcing. Start focusing on more support weapons. Broken through and you guys are trying to reinforce. Nope, denied. Pinned and potentially encircled. Potentially. Can we do it? No. Two divisions. There we go. Another encirclement. Wasn't as easy as the first one, though, I'll admit. Oh, they've got a lot of supply. Never mind. They're not going to lose organization. So we're just going to have to give them a gentle, very gentle push. And now we can repair the industry a little bit more. Right. We're going to focus a little bit now on naval. And we're going to go for Light Cruiser 2. To this day, I have no idea why you have 37 supply. You technically should be encircled. Mysteries of Hearts of Iron 4, eh? And this focus, which will remain unpronounced forever, gives max infrastructure in all of our capital regions, as well as removes poor governance, which is what's eating into our stability, war support, and political power. We need to fix that now. Finally, we've enclosed the pocket and we're eliminating them one at a time. Still have 35 supply. From where? No idea. And they're gone. Same again, fall back to the original position, wait for them to come forward. Come on, come forward. And now we look for another opportunity to move in, pin them in. Is that it? I've run out of divisions out? No. Yeah, there we go. All right, done. I think at this point, they probably should have next to no divisions. Let's have a look. They have one to two, which might just be one. All right, let's get over to uh, mainland Turkey. Let's sort this out. Put them on aggressive. Go, 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 go. Option to get a boost for doctrines. Why not? Also go for depth charges. We're going to need those later on. Yep, I think it is just one division. That one boy. All right, next focus we're going to go for is we need to go for Rise of the Phoenix. So we need to work our way down here. So we're going to go for expand the HDS. Seeing as they've not got an army now, I'm just going to beeline and snake all the way to the victory points. Basic light battery. Yeah, good idea. Done. What are we going to take? Everything, of course. Infantry expert. Essential. Next focus we're going to go for is future government. Go. Resistance is becoming a problem. Hmm. Greek government choice. This is your selection which focus you want to go down. We have got non-aligned. We've got the Hellenic Empire. And we've got Resort Byzantium. Nah, never. Macedonia for the win. The kingdom 
of Macedonia. The rival king of Greece has returned and restored the kingdom of Macedonia once again. This time, though, we will not watch Macedonia crumble. Go. Let's diversify the industry. Let's go for a little bit of AA. Just a little bit, not that much. Focus the rest onto our guns and make, continue to make convoys. Let's get a full army group. So let's say another, another seven. Trade. Interdiction. Hmm. What are you up to, Dave? What are you doing? And we'll slap on that AA and we'll also slap on some cavalry reconnaissance. And we need to get some support equipment. So I'll pop two of those there as well. Done. The basic death charge is followed by the death charge that can be thrown. This will make a nice addition to our navy. And there we go, guys. The kingdom of Macedonia. And we now have cause on all of Bulgaria and Turkey. Pretty broken, right? Speech of the king. Our king has given a speech to all the people in Macedonia and the people are not sure what to think about it. But for now, they support him. For now. What is this going to lead to? Plus 60 war support? Now the king's speech has finished, we have found something out. He really likes horses. And we're giving these three beautiful horse divisions for free. Okay, well, two of them aren't very good, but this one. Guys, I think the king might be going a little bit mad. He seems to have crowned himself the great. Maybe a little bit premature? Call himself the great? Maybe a bit premature to call himself an empire builder? Maybe? Hmm? Maybe? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe? Next one is in Macedonian expansion. The time has come to reclaim our once hold lands. We should try to take our enemies by surprise with a quick offensive. Unlocks something very special. Macedonian expansion decisions. Hmm. Drop those divisions off. We'll make another army group of 24. Can we do a 24? No. We'll make a slightly smaller division. Then we can always just convert over. Yeah, then we'll have two full army groups. Good. Move you guys here. And we'll start trading you guys to level 3. We're going to import just a tiny little bit of steel just so we can keep up with the production of our weapons. We're a little bit behind and that's a concern for now. Partial mobilization. Yeah, there's an extra five civilian factories, which is going to help us out in the long run. Right, we're going to rush for improved computer machine. The reason why is we want to get their better fire control. That's right, you probably forgot about these technologies, didn't you? Didn't you? Yeah, I forgot about them too. Macedonian expansion is finished now. We've unlocked some new cool decisions, but in the meantime, we're going to go for Rise of the Phoenix and go for HJS Alternative. These guys, on the other hand, are going to go on the border of Iraq. And if you look very closely, we now have the option to expand into Iraq for 50 political power bargain right okay one thing to be aware is because we're over 25 world tension when this finishes and we get a war goal in iraq either france or the uk will guarantee them so what you're going to do is wait for it to get to one day on here drop it down to three speed bring up the menu to declare on iraq wait for it to turn green and pause immediately there we go and that way they don't have time to guarantee iraq in that case we could just push into them and it's just free pickings get it kill them get rid they only have like five divisions, so we should just completely storm over them and walk all over them. The king had a glorious idea that we should prepare some war games to train our troops and raise their spirit. I have no control over this. I guess we're doing it, I suppose. Mine. All of it. Who's next? Iran. Let's go. Deploy some divisions. Oh, our leader seems to think he's good enough to be an actual field marshal. Let's give him a test run. After all the years, we were finally able to retake Baghdad. The Congress should strengthen our cause and increase the support of our people. For Georgios the Great, Baghdad will now be referred to as Giorgio of Dad. Cool. Same again when it gets down to the very last day. Hop it down to three speed. Watch very closely for where you get your war declaration and then declare it immediately. There we go. Boom. Go. Declare. Aggressive. Go. 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 And I'm actually going to be more aggressive. I'm actually going to beeline to their capital. That way we uh, can hopefully annex them incredibly quickly. Well, that's the plan anyway. Go. 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 We're going to focus on light cruisers. In trade interdiction, there's only really three doctrine texts that's going to bonus you. The first one, this one, raider patrols, and this one down here, combined operations raiding. Yeah, it's just those three. So we'll go for the first two first. More war games. Uh, okay. Tehran has been taken. Tehran is George Iran. Sure, why not? All right, we could do Rise of the Phoenix now and get rid of that awful growing economy and actually have a full-blown modern economy. Improve the airplane catapults. We're going to get some big, fat catapults. This gives us lots of spotting, which we are going to need if we're going to engage enemy fleets. Iran is dead. What am I going to take? All of it. Afghanistan. Yes. Why not? Let's go. Do you know what? Georgios the Great, let's prove how great you are. You will, on your own, attack into Afghanistan. And you know what? You can take all your horses with you as well. Full on horse army. Right. Go. 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 And go. The British Lodge would like to send us some support equipment. Sure. Hmm. Sure. Hmm. I don't think they know what's coming, but sure. 
Right, a few more civilian factories in our capital regions, all with 100% infrastructure, not OP in the slightest. Yes, that's right, I'm going to research military police. They are incredibly strong at the moment, so, yep, let's take advantage of that. Garrison division will be the horse, and the horse will be modified ever so slightly without the reconnaissance. That will do perfectly. And, uh, okay, maybe a few more horses. There we go. Oh no, the mud and mountains of Afghanistan is slowing us down. Will we be able to take Kabul? Is it gonna be possible? Giorgio, you meant to be the great. You meant to be the chosen one. All right, next we're gonna go for local dominance, then work our way down to pressure the Anglo-French colonies. This will give us access to Syria and the Levant from the UK and France, but we can only do that while they're at war, so we've got lots of time to work with. We're gonna prioritize garrisons, and we're gonna focus on our garrison divisions once we got MPs, and when we do add them on, we'll be able to get that resistance down nice and low import a little bit of steel too pump out those guns so mountains 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 and mountains uh hit them with your best shot this might help infantry expert full-blown horse attack into the mountains everyone said it could not be done and by looks of things they were right <laughs> okay that took way too long uh future notes uh, when you attack Afghanistan, just don't give them any opportunities to dig into the mountains. History seems to repeat in itself. Kabul has been taken. Giorgio Bull. I feel like all these city names are actually sounding the same. Military police and military police too. And we'll add on you boys some MP. All right, we're going to rush for Cruiser 3 now. On the other side of the focus rate, we can improve the Greek military force, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. I think that's pretty sweet. And you can prepare naval investment. That's also pretty sweet. But then we've also got this one. Compete for naval dominance. Minus 80% cost for light and heavy ships. Wow. Wow. Yeah, let's, uh, let's work our way down there. Some local newspapers have released an article that claims that the king said some unfavorable things about parts of our population. They present no proof, but the population is furious. What has he done? All right, we need a few more armies. Let's drop another 24. I think what we're on behind on now is AA. And a little bit of artillery too. All right, we're going to go for the war industrialist. And we'll also go for uh, army offense as well. This is the division we're going to go with for the time being. It's very well rounded. It doesn't really have any really big advantages, but we can mass produce them, which will be handy for what we're going to go with at the moment, with, particularly with the big front lines as well. Let's go for advanced fire control. I think I've clicked this like probably three times in the entire time I've played all of Hearts of Iron 4. Yeah, not very often. We seem to have a thing called World War II happening right now. Yeah, let's not be a part of that. Pressure the Anglo-French colonies. Give us your colonies, boy. With the amount of resistance we're experiencing throughout all these occupied territory, Prince of Terror is a really good idea. It reduces the damage to garrisons by 25%. That pays off in the long run by a massive factor. Get it. And that was an incredibly quick fall of France. We can demand Rhodes and also demand Cyprus because they're at war. And they both yield. Give us those islands. Let's make an ideal cruiser. We now have cruiser three. Or is it like cruiser three? Here it is. There we go. Cruiser three. We'll go auto and see what we get. Nah, we don't want this. We're going to fit it with lots of light guns. Loads of light guns. Nope, not the cruiser ones. The light guns. Light batteries. Light batteries. Loads of spotting. Very last one is going to be some death charges so we can just engage some submarines. We need lots of AA. We need a best fire control. We don't need a radar or sonar module because we've got lots of spotting with the catapults, big engine, uh, secondary battery, and the best armor we can afford. There it is. Beautiful. The catch all spotting fighting cruiser three. We'll make one of these, two of these, three of these, four of these. Here, here. France and the UK have caved in. Look at all this beautiful land. Oh, look at all the resistance too. Ooh. Only two things left to do, and that would be Egypt and India. For us to go for Egypt, we need 5,000 guns. So let's start banking those guns. Damascus has been retaken, and Jerusalem has been retaken. Tella Giorgio. Tella Giorgio. That one rolls off the tongue. I love it. Georgicus. Georgicus. Demas Demogic yeah, you get the idea. All right, let's go for the naval build-up and get some naval dot yards. And we will also top that off as well. Get naval dot yards in the main regions. All those regions. The Egyptian autonomous state has disturbed the British Empire's colonies by feeding them a few guns to the Egyptian populace. What could happen? Hmm. More steel from the Soviet Union. Decisive battle. Yes. Yes, indeed. And Egypt is now free. Kind of free. Kind of free. Puppet free. Yeah, that kind of free. Cairo! Oh, Gyro. Gyro? Gyro? It's got a different name, okay? Greek 
capital ships. Well, kind of. Cruisers, I guess. And here we go. Compete for naval dominance. We have to compete with the other great naval powers by focusing our industry on the Navy. We found some private investors who would be willing to help us out in this matter. This is a focus that is incredibly OP, but it also has some big downsides. Whenever you're doing this, you're suffering a massive loss of 20% political power, losing 10% of your consumer goods, and you're losing a huge, a massive, gargantuan 50% of your factory output whenever you're doing this. You're moving the entirety of your country's industry towards naval production, which gives a beautiful 80% reduction for light hulls and heavy ships. Lovely. It works a little bit like MIFO bills. The more you go for it, the more political power it will cost. And at the very, very end of it, you'll have a 50% cost for consumer goods for 100 days when it's finally ended to pay the whole thing off. So be aware, for 100 days at the very end, your industry will shut down. You'll have no industry, basically. Be aware of that one. Because when it comes, it really stings. And here we go. Naval buildup. Cost for light ships, minus 80%. Be aware, you will need to import a lot of steel to keep this up. To make sure we're taking advantage of all that lovely production, what I'm going to do is go down here and go for naval production, plus 20%. And to make sure I'm taking advantage of it all the way, I'm going to go for free trade. And we're going to need a lot of steel to keep this up. That's why you've got to build all those civilian factories, and that's why you need to build all those naval dockyards ahead of time, because you are going to be needing a lot of equipment to keep this up. Cavalry recruitment! Our king has a, has a glorious idea that we should invest some more of our resources to recruit more cavalry divisions. We've just lost loads of manpower, and to gain... More crap horses. Yay. Yay. More steel. More. Time to execute the second part of the plan. Justify on Malaysia. Place army on the board of the Raj. Time to go, 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 and go. British Raj. Famine. Oof. Right. The naval buff has ended. And, uh... Our uh, industry has shut down, as I thought it would. Uh, right now, our consumer goods are 75%. 68 of my civilian factories are used for consumer goods. Ouch. And uh, we now have no ability to import anything because we have no free civilian factories. Once again, ouch. But we have 44 cruisers. Nice. Singapore declaration done. Raj, join the war. Ah, I'm just going to declare. Never mind. Just go for it. Go, guys. Go, go, go. Yes, I have left that gap open in the north. I don't care if the AI just moves its divisions through Afghanistan. I don't care. At the end of the day, if they do, they're going to get encircled and they're going to be in a whole lot of hurt. Also, don't bring your puppet into the war because you don't want them invading Egypt and have to worry about a second front war. So just, uh, just worry about the Raj for now. Deploy the ships and we're going to use them for convoy raiding in the eastern Mediterranean. Let's see how much joy they have. Yep, engaged and tears them apart. So much light attack, it just tears them to pieces. Meanwhile, in India, we've pushed them out and we've encircled them in the north. Exactly how I suspected it would go. Uh, meanwhile, my leader seems to recruit more and more horses by the day. Uh, nice. Completely annihilating the destroyers as well. Delhi has been taken and has been named by Georgios the Great to Geli. All hail Geli. The average battle with these cruisers results in complete destroyer annihilation and cruiser annihilation. Oh, and all the cruisers and destroyers have arrived. And they're getting annihilated as well. Cruiser power too damn high. Oh my god, that's brutal. So many destroyer losses. Annihilate. Oh my goodness. It's just so good to have a decent navy and to see it completely wreck the enemy's navy. Oh my god, this is so satisfying to watch. Uh, don't forget to do auto split off because otherwise you're going to run into issues. Like, mm, like a secondary is knocked out. Yeah, that could be a problem. And uh, yeah, immediately they all run to port to uh, repair. Yeah, that's going to be a concern. Might want to do the repairs and also might want to import just a little bit of oil from the Soviets too. I feel like we're going to might run into problems with that. Encircled in Afghanistan and pushing through the heart of the Raj too. I don't know where the allies are right now. We're definitely at war with them, aren't we? Here we are. Right, we've got our industry back, so let's get the steel in. Help us out, Soviets. And also help us with the, uh, the oil as well. And also the tungsten. Back. The convoy rating. All right, we need a spy agency because we need to be able to get more intel on spotting. That's right. More intel results in more spotting. So it's crucial. We'll go for the cunning intelligence agency. Yeah, that one. Now we can hop off free trade as well. Now we've got limited exports. Raj has collapsed. Now all we need to do now is sort out Egypt. And we're just going to build lots of civilian factories inside of him. And that will hopefully reduce their autonomy down. Meanwhile, we're going to go for the Macedonian Empire. We have finally united all the old Macedonian land and now can proclaim the Macedonian Empire to secure our cause. Unlocks the formable nation 
the Macedonian Empire. 105 days. To import more fuel, as much as we can. Maybe some from the United States as well. Yeah, we need so much fuel. Extensive conscription, definitely needed. Spies into the UK. Let's build some intelligence and hopefully spot their navy. All right, let's move them over to the central Mediterranean. See what we can spot. The naval supremacy here is 14,000 to 19,000. So they have a lot of ships here. Probably capitals too. I'd really like to see how our cruisers do versus bigger, fatter capital ships. And another spy, Northern England. And there we go. The Macedonian Empire. We can form it once we take out Egypt. So we need to integrate them. The easiest way of doing that is to lend lease them lots of stuff. In this case, 180 convoys. And what else have we got a lot of? 1,000 support equipment. Yeah, sure. 1,500 artillery. Sure. 1,000 guns monthly. Sure. It can't be stuff that we've not made, though, because that won't affect the autonomy. It has to be stuff that we've manufactured. So that will do beautifully. All right. Reduce the autonomy of Egypt down to an integrated puppet. One more step required, and then we're done. And another spy in Scotland. Now we have the ability to annex Egypt. And then finally, form the Macedonian Empire, which gives cause on all which we have conquered. All of it. Boom. A slightly different shade of blue. Was it worth it? Probably not. Giorgio, your ancestors that you're not related to are smiling and the crown looks shit. Currently guys, ad revenue has tanked. The lockdown has totally frozen the YouTube economy. If you want to help me out, the best thing you can do in these dire times is become a patron. The link is in the description below. Thank you boys and girls. Bye bye.